Hello everyone, it's another Saturday and another episode of Perspectives in Pouring with my partner in crime, Sheldon Briscoe of Shell Rock Art. We are always so excited to spend some time with you guys and just have some fun painting. Now I will be honest, the past couple of weeks have been very long and very stressful at work. Um, I do have a day gig and uh, I had a bunch of paint left over, different colors. I've had several color art pigments left over, a lot of acrylic paint left over um, that were all really bright, colorful, springy colors. And I wanted to do a pour, but I didn't want to have to think about it. That's how tired I have been. So I decided to take the easy way out and what I did was made sure that all of those paints were around the same consistency, which was pretty easy because they were pretty thick to start with, and uh, decided to just kind of pour willy-nilly. So this first piece that I'm doing, um, you saw that I, I layered two cups. One was more of the warm colors, yellows, reds, pinks, oranges, and the other cup was the cool colors, the blues and the greens and the purples. Um, and like I said, just kind of poured willy-nilly. I've never done this before, but I kind of like it. There wasn't a whole lot of thought process that went into it. Um, so we are gonna tilt this thing out and see what we can get. Um, and then I will do another piece because I've got more paint left over. Now I didn't show you the colors at the beginning because there were just way too many, but I do have them listed in the description as well as how the majority of them were mixed. So be sure to check that out if you're curious. Sit back, relax, and I will be back.
So when I poured these two pieces, I did not intend to pour them as a diptych, but because I used all the same colors, uh, when they were dry, I put them together, just kind of curious, and surprisingly enough, they go together really well. Um, this style is definitely not something that I do often, but I kind of like it. I like the chaos of it. I like the colors, um, the fact that I used pigments in there. They're transparent. You can see colors underneath them, which gives the pieces a really cool 3D effect. So this was a really fun pour for me. Not a whole lot of thinking, but a lot of color. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you here next Friday for Pouring from Coast to Coast, where we're going to be doing a sunset color challenge. So purples, reds, oranges, and yellows should be a lot of fun. Make sure you mark your calendars. We hope to see you there. Have a great weekend, you guys. We'll talk soon.